Welcome back. It's Nikki from Percy and Nikki. Thank you for watching our channel. And if you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe. Thank you for those that already have. Thanks for following us. Today we're going to be making pizza in the oven. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a poppin' fresh pizza crust tube, just one. You're going to need mozzarella cheese or pizza blend, whichever you prefer. You're going to need some veggies. We're going to use today onions and green and red peppers. Turkey pepperoni or whichever meat you would like. And you're going to need a couple seasonings. You're going to need some extra virgin olive oil. You're going to need garlic powder, oregano, parmesan cheese, and a little bit of Italian dressing. And of course your favorite spaghetti sauce. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to get your already seasoned and oiled 13 inch cast iron skillets. I know it sounds weird, but yes, you can put this in the oven too and you can fry things in it. So what I did was I stretched my pizza dough out so that it fits inside the pan. And as you can see, it's a little bit bigger than the pan, so I'm just gonna trim some of the excess dough off. I don't like a really thick, thick crust around my pizza, so I'm just gonna cut that off and just put it to the side and I'll use it for something else a little bit later. If you find that you don't have enough crust around the edges or that your pizza dough doesn't come all the way to the edge of your pan, you can always lift it and pull it out. Next step is your extra virgin olive oil. So you're gonna start off with a little bit at a time because all you really want to do is coat the pizza dough that's touching the bottom of the pan. So I started off with about a teaspoon's worth of olive oil and I'm using a silicone pastry brush just to brush all that olive oil around the whole pie crust all the way to the edges. And the olive oil gives you some extra flavor on your pizza dough and it also helps give you that like really crispy golden brown kind of color. brushing it around you see how nice and oiled it look your pizza dough should be shiny all the way around after you're done with that you're going to grab some garlic powder and sprinkle that on your dough all the way around you can use as much or as little as you like and then you're going to use some Italian seasoning again to your preference as much or as little as you like but you want to season your dough so that way you have those layers of flavor all the way through your pizza and then you're going to take your pizza dough you're going to pop it in your oven your oven should be preheated to 400 degrees and then bring it down to about 350. You know your oven, so you gauge what temperature you need it to be. While your pizza dough is in the oven, you wanna heat your marinara sauce, spaghetti sauce, whatever sauce you're using, you wanna heat that up a little bit. You don't wanna spread it out on the pizza while it's cold. And I just added a little bit of ground turkey into mine because we had some leftover. So here we go, about 10 minutes in, and the pizza dough, is pretty much done. Um, I like mine a little bit crispy and so does Percy. So that's how we have our pizza dough. You see it's like nice, it's well seasoned. And then you're gonna take your pizza sauce, the marinara sauce, whatever you're using, and you wanna spread it onto your pizza dough. I used about two serving spoons of um, my uh, marinara sauce. And just make sure that you get it all the way around. There should be no dry spaces in there. If you find that what you put in is not enough, just add a little bit more. And just spread it all the way out to the edges. But do not cover the edge of the pizza because that's going to be your crust. And just spread it all the way around. Layer in your pizza. There you go. Next step is your cheese. 
we're using mozzarella cheese you can use whatever you like there's some um, brands that make a pizza blend that has like three or four different cheeses in it but again you can use whatever you like you can use cheddar cheese if you want whatever you have use that make sure that you get it all the way around the pizza nice if you haven't already done so please like this video and subscribe to our channel next layer is going to be your veggies if you choose to use veggies you can use whatever you like the only thing I'm going to let you know is that if you're going to use anything like broccoli or spinach you don't want to put that on right now because it's going to burn you want to put that on like right five minutes before you take it out the oven but for us we're using onions and we're going to use green and red pepper I like a lot of onion and I like a lot of pepper on my pizza the red and green I use just because it looks pretty and I like the way that it visually looks on the pizza. You can use whatever kind of peppers you want. And then our next layer is gonna be your meats. So you're gonna use whatever meat that you like. We're gonna use turkey pepperoni. Both of us like pepperoni. I'm a Jersey girl, Percy's a Brooklyn guy. We like pepperoni on our pizza, but instead of using your traditional pepperoni, we're gonna go with the turkey pepperoni instead. And honestly, guys, it tastes exactly the same. You don't even notice the difference. And you're just gonna layer it all the way around. You can put as much as you like or as little as you like. Again, you're making the pizza to your liking, so you can do basically whatever you want. Don't forget to wash your hands in between using your meat and your cheeses. So here's our next layer. You're gonna put some more cheese on there. Again, like I said, I'm Jersey, he's Brooklyn. We like a layered pizza and we love extra cheese. And just keep sprinkling it on, putting as much or as little as you like. It's up to you, whatever you like to do. And then we're just gonna pop this back into the oven and you're gonna put it in the oven just until the cheese melts so roughly you're looking at about anywhere between 8 to 10 minutes for your cheese to melt here we are 10 minutes later look at that look at that look at that And what I like to do is hit it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and then I put some of my fresh oregano that I pulled off my patio dried myself I sprinkle some of that on there and then you just let it cool for a couple minutes and then you cut it there it is nicely plated it looks like it came from the pizzeria awesome can't wait for you guys to try this again thank you so much for supporting our channel Please like and subscribe and don't forget to eat like the kings and queens that you are.